Hi Aquarius, this is L. Um, this is going to be a deep dive into your person and how they're thinking. Um, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so this message, we're going to ask a few questions, all right? All right, so let's see how Aquarius feels about that person right now. How does Aquarius, ooh, the Two of Cups. Okay, so some of you want to reconcile. You just want to get back together. You feel like there's a, a, a high level of chemistry that you feel like you can marry this person. Maybe you want to heal this severed connection, but you also feel like there's some things with the Seven of Swords here that you just don't know, um, that this person is deceptive, that they're out for themselves, that they don't want a relationship, that they'll leave you holding the bag again. They'll leave you um, stranded by yourself. Uh, there's trickery here. They'll masquerade like they want the connection and then they could possibly um, leave you. Or this is, yeah, this is how you feel. So this is how you, they could um, go back to maybe their old ways of having more than one person, being a liar, being deceptive, being, um, you know, uh, desiring more than one person, using that wand freely, you know, and readily. So this is how you feel about your person. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, male, Cancer. But you could be dealing with anybody. It's not about the signs here. It just seems like um, Aquarius, you kind of have two minds about this. Like you know that there is a connection between the two of you, but you know that there's a high level of um, deception, trickery. Like this person will act like they want the same thing as you, but they don't. And maybe this is you acting like you don't want the reconciliation. You don't want to come back together. You don't want to heal the severed time, but you really desire it. It could be either way. Let's see how your person feels, Aquarius. How does a person, how does Aquarius person, the person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for, how do they feel? The magician so they feel like um, they have to take the power in their own hands they feel like they need to be careful in what they say to you um, they, they feel like they need to sell themselves with their words um, they feel like the they have the idea of you guys coming back together so they're just going to put that energy out there manifest it yeah well this person feels like you guys are meant to be together this is the twin flame relationship in the 3d excuse me in the 5d where it hasn't really manifested in the in the 3d like this person feels like you guys are counterparts the one and the two um they feel like uh maybe the relationship didn't get a chance to grow to thrive to get a, you know grow legs here for whatever reason they feel like the relationship it didn't really turn into like a commitment or it maybe even go into the next level in terms of boyfriend girlfriend fiance mary you know whatever maybe they also felt like their relationship was private it was behind the scenes you know it wasn't to the forefront your person also could feel like you're irresistible at this time you know or maybe even a level of unattainability like you're not setting your sight your eyes on them you're not giving them any attention you're not focused you're not moving you're not taking any action uh, they feel like you are sexy, seductive, wise, um, beautiful also. Uh, they're, like the sex is bomb, is everything with you, with the high priestess here. Um, how does this person feel about Aquarius? This card fell onto the floor. Ooh, the devil. They're, this person's addicted to you, addicted to your energy, addicted to that high priestess energy. I heard, oh, I heard so much stuff. Well, I don't even want to say that stuff. You know, we're going to keep it G-rated. They feel like, okay, they definitely feel like the sex is magnificent. It's something that they have not experienced with someone else. And it's not even that you're in the bedroom doing backflips off the, the ceiling fan. It's just more so the energy that you exude. Um, it's like almost like you, you awaken their kundalini energy. I don't know if you, if they awaken yours or... It's just something about the the um, the passion, okay? Uh, the feeling behind the act. 
Um, this person feels like they, they're obsessed with you. There's a, they're binded to you. They're addicted to you. It's like they can't get enough of you. The devil card talks about two people not realizing the lesson in meeting each other. And they just continue to do the same thing over and over in the relationship. Wow. Because pretty much that's what hell is, right? You know, waking up to the same thing over and over again. That's the idea of, of some people's hell, you know, over and over again. And it's just like with the devil card, it just seems like you guys won't learn the lesson and move forward. So that's how this person feels about you. And there's a high level of attraction, um, codependency. They make I heard like drunk on you. Like they, this person is just stuck. All right. One more card for how this person feels about Aquarius. Whew. You want me to show you this card, Aquarius? Do you really want me to show you this card? No, you don't. All right, let me click off. This was a good reading. All right, you guys have a good day, good night. No. <laughs> the star card. <laughs> they feel like this person is crazy over you. This person just feels like you are the star. You are the ish. The star card talks about beauty fashion you know accepting acceptance they feel like you accept yourself fully like you have something to offer the world you're humanit humanit you're humanitarian they feel like you're releasing baggage or with you they you're they can release their baggage i heard saving grace also you're the star you're the one that can help them get to a place of uh, being saved like you're the only person that can save them Maybe even you're the only person that can tame them. They look up to you. You're inspirational. They feel like your body is perfect also with the devil and the star. They, they're asking themselves, what did I wish for? Because I'm addicted to it now. I'm addicted to this energy. The devil and the star card, it says, uh, make sure you... Um, what does it say? Um, make sure you, you're asking. I can't even think right now. Um, but it, it says uh, something about wishes. It's going to come back to me. It's at the tip of my tongue. This person feels like with you, there's a level of healing also with all this blue hair. Um, they, you, your person has nothing but majors. You have one major and you feel like this person needs major change with the death card like they need to change um they need to go from one dynamic to the to the next they need to be serious about commitment about what they desire you just look at this person completely different than how they look at you this is crazy that's funny it's a, it's a really good energy to see there you know um, to kind of compare Let's see what it, what is uh, currently the energy between the two of you. Okay. What's the energy between Aquarius and their person? Watch what you wish for. Watch what you wish for. So they may have wished to find someone like you to find a connection that was so real, genuine, and now they're stuck to it and they're binded to it. Uh, they're entrapped, enclosed in your energy. Let's see. What's the energy between Aquarius and their person right now? All right, these two want to come out. Ooh, tough energy. Five of Swords, Eight of Swords. So defeat and isolation. Maybe you guys just couldn't get it together. Again, with the Devil card. You know, two people who just won't learn the lesson and then move forward. Two people who are highly attracted to one another. Um won't work that karma off and then maybe turn the devil relationship into a lover's relationship because those two cards are the adverse of each other so what rests between you is the five of swords and the eight of swords all right so swords so a lot of uh, trial tribulation test test of commitment and will here um there could have been strong words spoken from you Aquarius or from the other person or it was mutual and now you somebody has isolated themselves either you or your person 
Uh, but they're continuously thinking about the connection, not ne not necessarily positive thoughts, but they're thinking about the connection, thinking about the other person, maybe waiting for the other person to take them out of this uh, mental prison also, giving up agency in the fact that they can make change happen in the connection. So it's like, well, you, you're pushing the ball to the other person's side and then they push it back to your side and then you push it. So it's like the, the both of you are, you know, kind of isolating yourself and waiting for the other one to rescue the other one. What is the advice here? Well, let's not go there. Um, let's ask the question, why, why the five of swords? Why the eight of swords? Somebody felt like they were being tricked, duped. Um, also, they felt like, you know, somebody had an ulterior motive. Like somebody found out that maybe um, this was a love affair. So there were other people involved. Someone found out that someone was childish, um, careless with their emotions. And so they, they lashed out with their words, um, some strong words spoken here. There's lack of communication between the two of you. Again, because somebody's isolated themselves. It says that no one's coming to rescue the other. Somebody's got to put the ego down. The eight talks about ego. It could be the both of you. Let go of the ego and just build a bridge back to one another. You start on your side, I'll start on my side. And then we'll get back to each other, right? Um, why, why the five of swords? Why the eight of swords? Why all of this separation between Aquarius and their person? Why the five of swords? Yeah, page of pentacles because of maybe somebody's lack of consistency. Um, they had a lot of options. They know they needed to choose one and they didn't. Maybe they kept Aquarius as an option or Aquarius kept someone as an option. Um, someone also could have found out this um, by dreams, manifestation, or the Tarot, divination. Yeah, divination. Mm -hmm. uh, Consistency is coming up good. Like somebody is, wasn't consistent. Somebody would ghost. Someone would leave. Someone would uh, end the relationship. Also, it wasn't healthy. You know, um, somebody started to feel like the relationship wasn't healthy. That's why all of the five of swords and the eight of swords happened between the two of you. Why the five of swords and why the eight of swords between Aquarius and their person? The six of cups, maybe there was... Somebody has some childhood trauma issues they needed to deal with. Also, there was a high level of immaturity. You know, arguments turned into downright drag outs, just knock out, just, just, you know, disagreements turned into arguments where, because somebody's inability just to express their emotions correctly, uh, maturely. Instead of saying, well, I, I feel hurt or my feelings are hurt, um, you know, somebody would start with the F-bombs. F you, F this, F. That is when you express your emotions immaturely. You're, you're, you're starting with the F-bombs and F this, F that, and cutting this off and done with this, and F you, mother effer, that, because you just can't really express your emotions maturely you Aquarius or the other person. This also could be somebody holding back. It's like you guys needed to get to simpler times. Things got too complicated, too cluttered. Like somebody's emotional space was way too cluttered. You know, they go from they have all these different emotions and, and not knowing how to express them uh, accurately. So that's why the five of swords and the eight of swords happened. Maybe those were the five of swords was the F bombs. What does Aquarius need to know about this relationship? What does Aquarius need to know about this relationship? The king of cups here, control. Maybe you need to know that maybe somebody controls their emotions. They know how to stay in control of their emotions. Maybe that there is a love for you and something else or someone else here. The King of Cups keeps exes, 
you know, groupies around to kind of feed their ego also. Because this is a fragile uh, king here. Very emotional one. And so it needs the ego fed. Uh, so this is what the, uh, the universe wants you to know about this relationship here. It, it isn't always that this, per this king is sleeping with, seeing all of these other different women or men. But it could be that um, they like to have that ego stroke uh, frequently by other persons other than you. Um, this person is very much in control of their emotions. They also could be in a position where they deal with a lot of different personalities and they're good with it and they're good at it. With the King of Cups here, this they make a good husband once they do commit. They're devoted, they're loving. Uh, and this isn't a person who will give up. Not easily. Not easily at all. What else does Aquarius need to know about this relationship? What else does Aquarius need to know? The Six of Swords. Transition. Now, this could be that you guys are going to get back together. You're going to reconcile. You're going to make sense of coming back together. Or you're going to um, let go of the previous, the hurt from previous relationships. Move on uh, separately. It's just about rationalizing the connection also. Um, also, you might need to know that you might, from the five to the six of swords, you might need to move on. You might just didn't win. You didn't get what you wanted. You need to learn how to control your emotions too. Control, um, control transition. You know, maybe this person is taking it slow with you. You know, just because someone says that you're going to reconcile doesn't mean it's, it means tomorrow and that everything's going to be the same. Maybe a very controlled transition into a, a more peaceful way of existing. Is this reconciliation for the Aquarius? It's got a big yes sitting on top of this deck, but I'm still going to shuffle it. Is this reconciliation for Aquarius with their person? Does this mean reconciliation for Aquarius? Does this mean reconciliation for Aquarius? Does this mean reconciliation? Oh, oh, okay, Aquarius, this came out. I want to surprise you with a new life, new home, new car, new baby. Surprise. Ooh, so somebody wants to, the element of surprise. Hmm. Um, I would say yes, maybe someone you meet tomorrow or yesterday is not going to feel this way about you. So this could be you reconciling with someone who you have a significant history with, you know. Reconciliation, of course, isn't going to happen for every Aquarius that views the video. Um, but if you feel like this is your story, it can very well um, be going that way for you. Get your own personal reading. And there's so many discounts. There's so many um, sales that you can take advantage of. Get your own personal reading. So you can say, that's my energy. Okay? Because it'll be your personal reading. Um, go over to the website. Book there. All right? Wow, trying to save my marriage. So yeah, some of you, someone's gonna try to save the, wow, and this one to show the connection, Valentine's Day. Um, it could be significant, you know. Um, someone's gonna try to save this here. Because look at how they view you, whoever this is, Aquarius. That's some real heavy energy. Just take a, take a minute and put this in Google, you know, what these cards mean. And then you can come up with your own interpretation. Uh, Christmas also could have been significant for you guys. Um, somebody could be muscular, you know, they like to work out. This could be you, could be the other person. Um, You have the idea that they want to be friends with benefits, but this person might be, want to be more than that Aquarius with these cards. But they are very controlled in their emotions. King of Cups, Six of Swords. What, what is happening right now in Aquarius connection? In Aquarius, oh, let's go here. Uh, what is happening in Aquarius connection right now? Why does Aquarius feel like the relationship is the Seven of Swords, Death card, and the King of Wands?
maybe somebody's being rude or some there's some rude behavior but there's a yes answer here we'll try to clarify that what what's happening in the relationship studying i don't know if somebody's um spying on you studying your your movement your mannerism studying to see if you're a loud mouth or if you're going to pop off or vice versa or this is what you're doing aquarius yeah we've got bored and rational someone could feel like because you are rational you are boring or vice versa you feel like because the other person is rational that's boring or this because somebody is coming off as disinterested you may be interpreting it as bored and irrational just because they're rational doesn't mean they're disinterested and they're bored with you. it just means that maybe this is time of introspection they have to really kind of um go over their emotions and stay balanced they don't want to you know od on you aquarius yeah this is a fast thinker here so they gotta like think about what to do next in terms of the feminine energy because they're really attracted to this person whoa look what came out feminine energy engagement ring i don't know somebody is really thinking about that aquarius um but i feel like you feel like they are all talking no action but the the month of march is going to be significant for you aquarius interesting all right so let's see what aquarius should be focused on move no let's go here sorry all right so let's see for the future energy, what should Aquarius know? The outcome, the future energy of this relationship. Whoa, flipped over, sudden wealth, suddenly, all of a sudden, or a lot happens all at one time. Uh, manifestation with the, it being an 11 card here. Suddenly, you find yourself in this wealthy or this healthy relationship, marriage, um new career let's see what is the future energy for aquarius in terms of their person Ooh, somebody's so you go from 11 to 22 so it's like um leveling up so somebody wants to be your official person your number one person the person that you come you come home to the person that you run to the person that takes care of you somebody wants to come out of um this mental prison this imprisonment so if something is in prison or confined or in a cage it, you know there's no growth there there's no there's no flying there's no it's a caged bird you know they can't soar it can't they can't grow so somebody wants the relationship to come out of that place of no growth of no movement you know um it could be your person it could be you what's the none of these cards should be in the reverse without one to flip out in reverse what's the future energy for the aquarius poverty all right so um what is that about yeah pathway all right so you're gonna come out of maybe an impoverished mindset an impoverished uh mindset in terms of relationship we're going to take a new path maybe you felt like something that you were engaging in for one to two years year and a half wasn't changing wasn't transitioning it was dying it was boring it was going to be over you weren't going to get what you wanted but it says a new pathway is opening up for you and something is transitioning you're going to actually get what you want here uh, wow wealthy man it's like you go from some of you this could even be wealth for yourself this could be even marrying into wealth here um this could uh be meeting someone who has everything that 
you've ever wished hoped for and you bring value to the relationship also what is the future energy those one to come out um yeah some of you this is going to be for yourself occupation and community okay so you're going to help a lot of people with whatever it is you do um you do help a lot of people you have a big community you have a big group of people with their eyes on you that wait for you to put out your product your service whatever this may be um also you okay i heard you could align yourself with this wealthy man um to where you can just give your service um you can give your product uh of course there will be costs associated with it but you won't be so hell-bent on turning a profit or making money um it'll be really you know just you'll be at a place of where you can give freely you can um, share your talents your gifts without being concerned about money because you're you'll be with your wealthy man <laughs> um expectation it's like some of you are expecting this person to either pop the question, make something official, turn something around. Yeah, you expect it to be their family member to come into the fold here to make uh, this relationship uh, legitimize or legitimize the relationship. You're, um, you want this person to make something, um, put something on paper, get a divorce or something of that nature. So then in the future, you can um, get what you want with your lover, with your person. Wow, you may get proposed to unexpectedly. And the privileged lady is the counterpart to the wealthy man. So she is his wife. And it, it don't be hung up on the... It, this could be same sex also, okay? All of a sudden you could propose or someone could propose to you. Let's see what the soulmate deck has to say for Aquarius. Um, Aquarius energy right now. Aquarius energy right now. Aquarius and their person's energy. What's the energy between Aquarius and their person? Two cards. Okay. Wow. Okay. You are moving onto a steady and reliable path. And we saw a pathway come out. Here you are. The hottest love has the coldest end. All right. So right now you guys can feel like it's it's ended. But it says you're moving on to a reliable and steady path. For some of you, this is going to be reconciliation. It's going to be a big reconciliation. Yeah, try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud cloud. So maybe if somebody is down or depressed or you see a need somewhere else. Try to be, um, you know, somebody's ray of sunshine, someone's positivity elsewhere. Um, you are on your way to meeting your true love. For some of you, yeah. And this could be new, a new person. This could be an old person. Yeah, someone is saying, if, and it's going to be divided. All right, some of you are going to meet someone new. And some of you, you're saying, I have found the one that my soul loves. Okay. Uh, and that's going to be how you and your person feels, okay? And the reason it hurts so much to separate is because your souls are connected. All right, Aquarius? Um, let's see. What should Aquarius be focused on moving forward? What should Aquarius be focused on moving forward? What should Aquarius be focused on moving forward? Okay. Okay. All right, so they said, what does Aquarius person want to tell them? What does Aquarius person want to tell them? What does Aquarius person want to tell them? Um, that you're seductive, okay? Um, that you have a very seducing energy. What does Aquarius person... One second, guys. Go ahead again. All right. What does Aquarius person want to tell them? What does Aquarius for uh, retirement on the job for years? Um, maybe they're going to let something go that they've been doing for years. It could be in terms of their work or maybe a relationship. They're going to let that go. What does Aquarius person want to tell maternity? Um, maybe this person wants to get you pregnant or somebody is pregnant. 
Maybe that's why they have to stay. What does Aquarius person want to tell? What does Aquarius person want to tell? Them? Deserving. You are deserving, Aquarius. What does Aquarius person want to tell them? Okay, you're soft. Being with you, they can be soft. Um, they want to say if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. Maybe they feel like you've told some lies to them. Um, what does Aquarius person want to tell them? Um, that you're kind. All right. Wow. Uh, what does Aquarius person want to tell them? They could be broken or they know that they've broken your trust. Um, yeah, I can't talk after 8 p.m. Sorry. So they're putting like parameters around the relationship. They could have someone else. Um, yeah, business. Somebody's all up in their business or maybe they're trying to handle business that are trying to, they could be dating someone else. Okay, yeah. Um, this person could be mixed race that they're dating or the person that you're dating is mixed race or African-American. Um, they could have gray hair. They could be older than you. Um, they could be telling you, look, I have not healed yet or you haven't healed yet. They could be saying that um, your body is perfect, Aquarius. Okay, you are body goals. Uh, something about a con man, a fraud, a liar, it's all cap. Maybe they, they were gonna tell you that they have lied. They are lying. Um, maybe they wanna tell you that somebody you're dealing with is a thug or that they used to be a thug or that they're gossiping about you or there's gossip about you about whomever you deal with or you used to deal with. Someone was a thug or, I don't know. That's some interesting energy there. Some of them could be saying to you, they want to just keep it platonic because this relationship is hard for them to handle. It's hard for them to handle you, especially with them being so obsessed with your energy. They don't want to fall back into that obsession here. What should Aquarius be focused on moving forward? What should Aquarius be focused on moving forward? What should Aquarius be focused on moving forward? All right. Yep, your finances, they may be improving, Aquarius. Parental care, you may have a child, you need to focus on your children, or you have um, elderly parents, so you need to focus, uh, put your focus there. New exercise program, focus on, this also talks about new ideas too. Um, you need to get out there, you need to shed the pounds, you need to look, you know, your best, the best. Welcome the new, because some of you will have newness coming in for you, all right? Um, emotions do process your emotions accurately it's okay to feel like you miss somebody it's okay to feel like you want to cry like you're hurt like you're sad process it go through it and then move forward do what you have to do to get yourself to a better place just because you miss someone doesn't mean you have to pick up the phone and text them call them reach out to them it doesn't mean that it just means you miss them you're a human being not a robot all right let's see yeah, it's the end of an of an era for you, okay? The end of an era of waiting around, being taken advantage of, taken for a ride, taken for granted, um, someone not seeing your worst. Uh, join in. This talks about join in, joining in a group of people in person, not online, to where you, this could be a group of people who share your same interest. Um, this could be a self-help group. It could be any group of people, but join a group of people who um, there's something to do, you know? your time is filled you're not just at home watching the tarot going to work eating drinking sleeping and over and over again but you have to bring in more activity into your life um you have to participate in life you can't give up let's pull one card for finances here because you know i love them finances all right let's see finances for the aquarius Finances for Aquarius. Okay, the star card, very nice. A wish, wish fulfillment, hopes, dreams, wishes being fulfilled on a, on a large scale here with the star card coming out. Very nice, Aquarius. Um, maybe in terms of maybe uh, technology, if you do something with technology, large groups of people, friend groups. Uh, again, your hopes, your dreams coming true here. Manifestation too. Um, one more card for the finances for Aquarius. One more. Okay. The two of swords. You don't see it coming. Something is 
going to reconcile itself. Mm, what does that mean? Okay, so someone's going to put itself back together or back in order or back, uh, bring it back into your life. Maybe you're going to do something else or yeah, you're going to do something or something's going to come back. I don't know, you're going to go back to a company. You're going to go back to something you used to do. You have to be compromised and sacrificed. Yeah, it will be. So that looks really good, Aquarius. Looks like you're going to pay off some debts too. For something unfortunate that happened to you, there could be a payout. It looks good, Aquarius. This is what I have for you. Um, these are all the things you should be focused on. You should write it down. Focused on finances, welcoming the new, new exercise program, the end of an era. Look at the word era. And then you can kind of determine what that means for you. Let me know what that means for you down in the comment section. If you needed to participate in new exercise program, um, parental care, joining a group of people. If you know that you need to join a group of people, um, start, start it, get, get started on this. Okay. Um, Aquarius, you got a lot of good energy coming in for you. Some of you will be reconciling. Some of you will be getting engaged. Some of you will be meeting someone new. Okay. And you only know that by way if, if you get your own personal reading. Okay. Um, if you know that you don't have anybody in your life right now, then you're pro no one in your life right now. I mean, absolutely no one. Then you're probably not getting engaged. We have to be practical. Okay. Husbands, fiancés, just don't fall out the sky. So we need to be practical. And if you know that you're dating someone and it's moving towards that energy, you talked about it, then this could be, you know, the part that resonates for you. If you know that you've been wanting to meet someone new, you've been doing the clearing energy of clearing the old, clearing the old X energy out, all the, those emotions, then you're in that energy of welcoming the new, meeting someone new, being on that path to meeting your true love. Um, make sense of it. Don't be so fool -a la that you know you aren't dating anybody and haven't dated anyone for five years and now you're saying you're, you're getting engaged no you're not okay so let's um let's still be practical don't be so spiritual that we we lose our practicality all right um and go over to the website book your own reading there okay and book a reading where you can pull it the energy the side-by-side -side energy um, of how you feel and your person feels okay um you can do that with a 10 minute reading. So you'll see the 10 minute video recorded reading, book that reading, okay? Take advantage of the coupon codes that are all on the community tab. Go to the community tab first, get a coupon code, jump over to the website, book your reading. That would be how I do it. Um, also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. where you can come ask questions, come for the collective reading, um, come learn the Tarot with me also. You could. Tarot classes are linked below. Thank you, Aquarius. I hope this gave you a bit of clarity about your person, about what's going on with you. Gave you some hopeful outcomes also. Again, get your own personal reading from me or anyone else. I don't know. Or pull your own cards. I don't know, but you can't make a general reading resonate for you fully. All right. And please, those of you who don't want your ex back, you know the thousands of people who will view this video we really don't care to know but if you must tell us go right ahead down in the comment section all right take care many blessings